Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border. All right, right? ladies and gentlemen, welcome Walk back right to Wildfire Gaming. Land. This is Slow Same Burn, as and this is a continuation of the series I started earlier this Skyrim week called Trophy Hunting Tyro. And so basically, nice and um, I have two Platinums attached to my Stole PlayStation trophy, or my PlayStation uh, profile. You and me. Despite you having a PlayStation profile since, I don't know, 2010 or earlier, I don't know, whenever I got a PS3. And, uh, but uh, the whole coronavirus thing has really made me interested in hunting for trophies because I've just had a lot more time on my hands here in my apartment. And uh, it actually kind of sounds like a lot of fun, so going through my uh, trophy uh, list uh, with the games that I already have and games that I really enjoy and in some cases I'm actually pretty close to a platinum already and Skyrim unsurprisingly is one of those um, I probably would have a platinum in this game no no not quite there is something in this game that I've never done um, which has a trophy attached to it and that is uh, restoring the thieves guild to its former glory. I've never done that. And so that's going to be one of the first things that we attempt here. Um, it's, from what I know, it's a little bit of a grinding process, but uh, I'm excited to do it because, you know, it's an experience I've never had in Skyrim, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, uh, specifically, let's take a look here. I'll, uh, while we're sitting around, I'm going to figure out exactly what trophies I still need in this game so you have an idea of what I'm going for. Okay, I think I'm only missing four trophies in the base game. Which is all you need for the platinum. I am going to actually go for some of the other trophies that uh, you don't even, when you know, that are boy, DLC trophies. Imperial walls One of them is kill a legendary dragon, which they don't really uh, start appearing around the world until you're like level 78, which is pretty close to the max level in the game, uh, other than if you want to make skills legendary, which I might do, I don't know. But, um, so that's, that would be a big commitment. I don't know if we're going to get that, but everything else is certainly within the realm of possibility, and especially I'm going to be shooting for the base game trophies, so... I already mentioned one with the shadows, Why return the thief's guild to its former glory. I also line. need to get thief, which is pick 50 locks and 50 pockets. And it's the Let's pickpocketing go. that I haven't done Shouldn't on the PS4. The um, I need reader, which is read 50 skill books. No, wait, and rebels. I need a, the notorious oblivion Face walker, which is collect 15 daedric artifacts. I think there are actually a couple daedric quests I've never Fire done time. on any uh, playthrough. Empire loves their um, lists. Like I mentioned, I typically play this game with mods now, um, but I had to turn all those off has been an honor. for the trophy Yarrow hunting Oak. purposes. And uh, so that'll be interesting. Be back to the base game. I'm going to miss the rich merchants of Skyrim and, you know, stuff like that. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone mm. else feel like running? Right in the ass. Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Amazing voice acting. So, uh, I've thought about what I want to be, um, and, uh, what I've decided is I'm going to be a Khajiit. And the reason for that is Khajiit are one of the four or three. I think it's just three um, races that start with uh, some pickpocket skill, which is the skill that I'm going to be focusing on first, since I need to pick 50 pockets, which is another grindy kind of thing that I got to do. Um, so I am going to go with a Khajiit, and it's going to be fun because typically I am just, I just kind of play as an Ord, usually, honestly. Um, and uh, yeah, so. I'm excited to shake things up and be a Khajiit, but I'm actually going to spend a decent amount of time making him, and the reason for that is I have an idea of what I want to shoot for. I want to kind of base him off of the appearance of Red 13 from Final Fantasy 7, which is my favorite game of all time. Um, 
Yeah, he's not like the most ripped guy in the world. Obviously, it's not going to be a one-to-one -one because this is, in fact, not a bipedal, or this is a bipedal creature rather than a uh, creature that goes rolls around on all fours. But um, anyway, I need to kind of start get him from scratch here. I don't know what's going on with his. Uh, oh yeah, so all this stuff really matters. Um, this cheek color stuff. Typically, it doesn't really with a lot of the races. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna start everybody, or start it, just kinda everything over here. And then kinda give me an idea of what I'm working with. Oh man, wow, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so eyeliner, eyeshadow, eye tint. Yeah, so there's, there's a lot of customization that you can get into with the Kizzy, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm gonna do that. Now, as far as the hair goes, he actually does kind of have hair. I don't think any of these are really <laughs> what I'm looking for, um, but that's fine. We'll just kind of go. With, I mean, that's kind of cool. He's got Def Heaven does actually, or Def Heaven. That's uh, what uh, it's kind of an inside thing with me and my family. We always called him Def Heaven. That one's not too bad either. I mean, it looks ridiculous. You're not gonna, I'm not going to find anything spiky enough. I think I'm going to actually go with this one. Actually, yeah, he kind of has like a mohawk thing going on, but none of these really, well, yeah, there we go. I'm going to go with that. And he's still got some earrings and shit, so that's cool. I think Def Heaven really has any facial hair. You're just gonna have to get used to me calling him Def Heaven because that's just what I'm used to. Um, he kind of has darker hair. Yeah, like that. Go with that. Okay, now we're gonna start over. Um, okay, we're gonna keep it dark. No dirt. Well, we might end up going with dirt. Probably not though. Oh, you can change the color of the dirt. It's pretty sweet. We'll do worry about that in a second. I definitely want him to have a scar. It needs to be over his right eye. So let's see if we can get one that does that. That one's pretty good. I guess that's gonna have to be the best one. Cool. Um, War paint. Yeah, I kind of want him on the cheeks. Yeah, so we'll just have to go with one that sort of works. I'm gonna go with this one. Red. Okay. As far as the nose, I don't know that I care too much. First one will probably be fine. It's very old school, the uh, Skyrim character creator. It's just a kind of a series of sliders, but I actually really like it. I think it still works, and it's much better than most of the other Bethesda character creators. I actually am a fan of the Fallout 4 character creator as well, but that wouldn't work as well, I don't think, with all these different races. Okay, I don't... What's this doing? Okay. Let's just bring that in, I guess. I don't know. Let's keep it in the middle. Jaw. Forward. Okay. The cheekbones, that actually does kind of matter. Actually, does have some seriously wide cheekbones, kind of, but not really that one. Not as wide as you can make them. Jeez. Okay, cheek color. I've kind of got a picture of them pulled up here that I'm sort of basing this off of. Okay. Ugh, I just took a shower, so my 
hairs all that. Okay, uh, cheek color. I might just kind of leave that as it is. Yeah. No, they actually kind of made his snout sort of white. Not that white. <laughs> so yeah, what we have here will work. Definitely don't want to do anything that drastic. What's the difference there? We're gonna keep things mostly. Yeah, I do want to kind of make this white like that. That's cool. That's pretty sweet that you can give them stuff down there. I might do that just because it kind of matches. Eh, we'll just keep it blank. Sorry, I got a work email there. Um, forehead. I think I am going to give him a little. There. That's cool. Oh. That one's pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that one. Another eye color. I kind of wanted to make a blind in one eye, which you can do with a lot of the races, but apparently not. Because you, which is unfortunate. Wow, that's pretty wild. Anything too crazy there? Can't even see what's going on with that mouth.
pretty good. I did that. Okay, I'm thinking this is this is the man right here. This is what we're going with. He's gonna be pretty badass. You with one of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to elsewhere. Follow the captain, prisoner. So, you know, they deliberately don't tell you your backstory. Um, and uh, I kind of have one Stormcloak. built up for my Some character, as I always do in whatever I play Skyrim. Like um, so while we're sitting here waiting for form. our execution, I'll tell you that my idea for Nanaki is he's a young Khajiit that is the last surviving member from his tribe, just like the, uh, the, peace. the uh, Nanaki from Final Fantasy VII. Um, the rest of his family was, was killed that? by racist dark elves uh, who were in a rage over yes, the emancipation of the Khajiit because I was looking into Give the history of the Khajiit rights. a little bit and uh, they used to be slaves to the dark to elves Iberius. and they Blessings were just recently emancipated I think. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's um, get this over. Our, so wish. I'm uh, going with Nanaki was hurt in the attack. Oh yeah, yeah they, they were just pissed off and so they there was kind of just sort of lynching uh, the Khajiit. Um, so Nanaki was hurt in the attack, but uh, his father sacrificed him er, for himself so that Nanaki could escape. Send that guy. Uh, so he left elsewhere, vowing to one day exact revenge on those that had murdered his family. So uh, that's kind of he's kind of going to be a vengeful soul. I think he's not going to particularly care that care for these Imperials that are calling him a cat and trying to kill him. Um, there it is again. So, uh, the that? reason he's been arrested here, he was trying to cross uh, the border into Skyrim. To the block, um, and nice the and Imperials had just captured the Stormcloaks, and they picked him up too, because he's just a filthy Khajiit trying to come in at a, into Skyrim without a pass, without a passport or whatever. So, that's kind of the idea here. What in oblivion is that? Music Sentry. kicks in. What do you see? It's also been a while since I've played Skyrim with the actual soundtrack of Skyrim because I have Spotify player that I usually use. I'm filled with all kinds of music. So it's going to be kind of interesting to uh, be listening to the old Skyrim soundtrack again. Alright, got got ain't got to tell me twice. What is that thing? I don't give a damn about them. The legends be true. Legends don't doubt the legends. I've seen this a few times. I think my vision is cleared up. Okay, now it is. It takes a while after that intro. I just found out uh, in the last playthrough of Skyrim that this kid right here, his father's killed by Alduin. He's about to get killed himself. He didn't get out of there. And uh, he goes Everyone to live with this guy, Froki, uh, kind of close to Iverset. And there's a whole quest over there no, no, where he, the uh, he has you kill, not the kid, but Froki has you kill these uh, spirit animals all over Skyrim. Um, so that's kind of interesting. That was something that I'd never done before, but there was no trophy associated with it. Stay close to the wall! As much as I uh, love Skyrim and I have played it a lot, Quickly, um, I haven't actually played all the way through the main quest line in years. Um, so I'll probably do that at some point, but again, I already have the trophies for that, so that's not going to be the focus. Um, it'll be, probably be a while before we actually start progressing through the main quest. 
Um, it's all going to be focused on the Thieves Guild at first, and then, you know, finding skill books. <laughs> you can find those pretty much anywhere. I know that you get a ton all at once in the, uh, College of Hold toward the beginning of that quest line. Right, so here's a decision. I'm going to go with the Stormcloaks, um, because... Nanaki is ignorant of the Stormcloak's racism. All he knows is that the Imperials just tried to kill him, so he's not too pleased with them. Um, so this is also interesting because I almost never go with uh, the Stormcloaks. Poor Gunner. We'll meet again in Sovngarde, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. It's a bold claim. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunyer's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Yeah, I guess so. So, um, as far as uh, what I kind of want to do as a build, I want to try to maximize my levels as much as I can. Um, I am going to be one-handed because I usually right. play as two-handed. One-handed will be fun. Fun change of pace. Um, I am ah, going to use magic Let's when see I can, about that gate. as always. Um, speaking of, what what do, what do we got here? So. Okay, yeah, that's more damage than this axe, but I'm going to use the axe anyway because I actually get skill with it. Night Eye, um, that's pretty worthless. Restoration is not worthless. Destruction is not worthless either. And then, so yeah, let's just do that for now. Damn. There I am. No way to open this from Looking outside. good, Anaki. These little earrings. The Imperials, they cover. It's the escaped prisoners. That's right. Is that like Rika? <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> See, Naki's not wasting any time. He'll just kill these fools. Uh, hang on. I don't have my axe. There it is. Oh, music kicks in. Wow. This is good stuff. So let's see. Not impressed. Boom. Let's see that. Okay, Imperial Armor is always better. For swords over axes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wear the helmet because it just looks so dumb. I don't know, it could be worse. He looks so badass. The thing about a Khajiit is that they're so, they look so awesome that uh, it's hard to screw that up. Let's see here. Yeah, go ahead and fill her up in her death. Um, now, here's, you know, the classic option. You want to go light or heavy. I'm going to go light, but, you know, what I could do is... kind of mix yeah. both. And when you do that... Um, it's like for instance, are, that right there. The key. Let's see um, when you do that, door. what ultimate what that ultimately means is um, you get both when you get hit. You know, you get you start building up both. So um, try that. I think we're going to go light boots and light armor, and then heavy helmet and uh, the uh, bracers. It's a cool looking sword. It's got the Skyrim on. emblem on it. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Predict that. Okay, hang on a second. 
go flames. Ah, oh, right in the shoulder. I don't have a shield yet. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've seen those one-handed animations. I think I would get one down here. Now you're on. Oh, sorry. And water the ground with your blood. Oh! Damn. Never saw it coming. That was Bust awesome. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon. Okay, good. Now we've got a shield. Joda. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we out. Hell yes. Got a, a lot of lockpicks already. Oh, probably because I'm a Khajiit. Racial stereotypes. Grab anything useful and let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, it's been so long since I've been a sneaky character, so I gotta remember to use stealth. I'm gonna try to pick uh, most locks so I can get my uh, skill up there. That's awesome. I've always liked sparks. Although, in truth, there's really no reason not to just use flames. Unless you're fighting a mage. With that in mind, I probably wouldn't even bother favoriting that. My favorites tab usually gets out of hand pretty quick. I think the uh, the way they do their menus in this game is still absolutely brilliant. I, I mean, it. I don't think I can think of a game that does it better than Skyrim. Still. Oh yeah, and got some bone meal. Beautiful. not the type that just loots everything. I have very specific items in mind for what I want. You coming? Let's go. Wow, we got an army here. These Imperials aren't going to know what hit them. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. Oh yeah, okay. S stealth. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. Well, Rayloff isn't interested in stealth, Jesus. Alright, well. Always burn this. Boom. Look at that guy to stand right in the flames. Beautiful. Let's go on ahead. Why aren't these guys gonna come with us? Doesn't make any sense. Um might be a good idea to have two. Could do some two-handed action. Why not? Yeah, thanks. Okay, looking good. Didn't even lose any storm cloaks. It's very impressive. What an army.
Oh, it looks pretty Let's badass. See where this goes. No, oh, shame. Always come up there for that little nook. Stand up there. Okay. <laughs> Typical Skyrim bullshit right there. Uh, okay, so go ahead and loot all these spider sacks for the eggs. I'm sure most people don't do this. This is, uh, but. In my opinion, there's no reason not to. You can make good money selling potions, and uh, you get skills for doing it. You know, it, potions do kind of level up slowly. There are some kind of tricks that you can do, as you'll see during this playthrough. But uh, you know, <gasps> it's not the most glamorous skill in the world. I never really use any of the potions that I make. Just either drop them or sell them and use it to level up further. Did we? I think I went the wrong way. This could be some, yep, skeever tails, good stuff. So I always eat one of each so that I have, oh whoops, that was a waste. So I have some knowledge of uh, what each ingredient does. Stick together down here. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, there's going to be this bear up here. I'm going to assassinate him with fire. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Alright, down the hatch. Right, I should have snuck up on that bear. Damn it. I gotta remember to do that. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. One thing I need to do is save this game. Kind of make sure that it is giving me credit here. Yep, not modded. If we, split up. we will be made it getting some trophies. I don't know why a guy always says we should split up. So stupid. We could though, but you know, generally it's it's just kind of the path you want to go. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. I'm gonna keep quest log going. I'm not planning on joining the Stormcloak Rebellion anytime soon. I probably will talk to Girder in Riverwood. 
Why not? Ultimately, when we get to White Run, and from there, we are going to gain access to the carriage. And also, I want to get Feindall in um, Riverwood so that he can train me in archery, which is a skill I don't necessarily plan on using a whole lot, but I want the points. See that ruin up there? Oh, yeah. Bleak Falls Barrow. Hmm. I never understood how my sister oh, could that, stand that living aged in the well. shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. Old Bleak Falls Barrow. Could probably go through that dungeon with my eyes closed. I don't think he's going to approve of the choice I make here. I'm going to wait for him to see what he says. These are the Guardian Stones, three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Thief, eh? It's never too late to take charge of your own fate, you know. I don't know what he means by that. Remember, this isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. If we run into any Imperials, just let me do the talking, right? Yeah, not gonna be any stealth going on here. But... Oh yeah, look at that. Destruction 17. I hear a wolf. It's beautiful. I got the music kicked in for that little fight. This is such a great game. I'm glad you decided to come with me. Sure. We're almost to Riverwood. It's interesting how we found like the one non-racist Stormcloak. Trying to start you off on the right foot. Look at this water. Apparently they reworked that for the remastered edition. Guess I'd have to see them side by side to really tell the difference. Let's eat our little flowers we've picked up. Listen to this music. It's fantastic. Dragons now, is it? I love the voice actors in this game. They're so over the top. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. I guess so. Mm -hmm. I want to join him. I might as well go ahead and do that. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. I love how the game is also like telling you how awesome it looks constantly. Um, what's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I don't need your jokes right now, but maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a pretty good letter. Washing my linens, <laughs> my fine blonde hair. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Alright, let's get this show on the road here. Uncle Rayla, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? 
Do you really know Ulfric Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Raylock. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Raylock. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Raylock, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't this remember when I last slept. Whew, where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Take that garnet. Oh yeah, good stuff. There is something you could do for me, for all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks. Put on my new ring. I knew we could count on you. All right. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our me, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. I told you my sister would help us out. Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of White Run Hold. Jarl Balgruf still hasn't declared for one side or the other. So at least you won't run into any Imperials along the way. Incorrect. Seriously? You don't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Oh, right. They said you were captured crossing the border. Still, I'm surprised you haven't heard of Ulfric. He's our leader. The leader of the Stormcloaks. Surely, even down in Cyrodiil, people have heard news of the war in Skyrim. The Nords are tired of spending our blood fighting the Empire's wars. And paying for the Empire's decadence with our taxes. Ulfric is our rightful High King. He's leading the fight to drive the Empire out of Skyrim, once and for all. I was assigned to Ulfric's guard. We were on our way to Darkwater Crossing, in the south of Eastmarch. The Imperials were waiting for us. As pretty an ambush as I ever saw. We were outnumbered five to one at least. Ulfric ordered us to stop fighting. 
didn't want us all to die for nothing, I guess. I thought they were taking us south to Cyrodiil, parade us in front of the Emperor. But then, we stopped in Helgen, and you know the rest. What? Oh, hardly. I don't think even Ulfric could pull a dragon out of his pocket. Lucky for us it attacked when it did, eh? I wasn't looking forward to getting a shave from the Imperial Headsman. Damn right. You don't have to be a Nord to fight for Skyrim's freedom. You should come to Windhelm with me and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's Ulfric. <laughs> what a joke. Well, maybe not. Dragons haven't been seen in Skyrim for an age or more. But wherever that dragon came from, and whatever it wants, Ulfric will get to the bottom of it. You can count on that. Besides, you have your own score to settle with the Empire now. And with that dragon. I hope so. Skyrim needs people like you to fight for her freedom. Come on. You better get moving. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is this. <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Formula was back in the non-modded Skyrim days. Smear if it's simple and strong. I guess I can bracers. Forge. Yeah. Make leather bracers and obviously iron daggers. I don't have any uh, iron right now. I guess before I do that, I should go ahead and improve what I've got. Whoops. Well, shit. <laughs> 